I used to carry like holy water with me because I was very scared to stay in a hotel room alone. If you know, you know. Hi guys! For today's video, I will be sharing with you what's in my bag. Just a little disclaimer, I'm trying to find ways to not show my working bag because by right I'm not supposed to show it so it's hiding behind. But for the rest of the bags like my cabin bag and my mama-san bag, I can show it to you guys. But as for the content inside my handbag, my working bag, I will just hide the bag but I will show you what's inside, okay? Hey! For work, cabin bag is a must as well as my working handbag. Mama-san bags are usually for short layovers or if I'm having a long layover, I also bring this and a cargo bag. So so it will be like four bags if it's a long haul flight. For turnaround flights, it will just be my camping bag and my handbag. Yeah, which one should we start first? Mm, I'll do my handbag last. So let's start with the Mama Sun bag. I got this from Muji. Most of my colleagues have this bag. <laughs> it's really spacious because I can expand the bag actually. I can expand it. This bag. Yeah, just gonna show you the main things that I carry with me. So I have my water bottle. It's a one liter water bottle. I always bring this around with me. I must bring my glasses. So this is my glasses pouch. For every layover, I have the currency packed in a Ziploc bag. Every different layover, I have different currencies in my bag. So for this time around, it's in New Zealand dollars because I'm in Christchurch. If it's in US, I'll carry US dollars. If Japan, it will be Japanese yen and so on and so on. I always bring a lot of extra Ziploc bags because when we go through security, we need to take out our liquids, aerosols and gels. My Ziploc bag always breaks, so I always bring extra with me. Sometimes they provide this at the airport as well, so I'll take a few. <laughs> then I have like a wet tissue. Oh, I bought this like little wallet. So this is RFID protected. Nowadays, people can steal your details and information from just rubbing across your bag. So I carry this around with me because I don't want to carry a big wallet around. This is empty though, so I've not really used it yet because I've been carrying cash around overseas. <laughs> oh, I have some like vitamins in a pouch, some meds just in case I get sick. I think these are Los Angeles. I have some plaster. <laughs> these are really old plasters. Sometimes I get paper cuts because my hands are so dry at work. And then I have some tissues. So all of this is in a pouch. Sorry, <laughs> I even brought my rosary. <laughs> Because I've been carrying rosaries and I used to carry like holy water with me because I was very scared to stay in a hotel room alone. If you know, you know. Because I've been hearing so many ghost stories. So I always carry all these like holy things around. As I grew older, I don't really care anymore. I became more brave. I just keep it around with me just to keep myself safe, you know? Yeah, so I carry my rosary around. Whether I pray or not, that's another thing, but yeah. Working on it. Today I brought my laptop so I have a pouch with all my hard drive and everything. So this is a pouch I will bring with me if I were to edit my videos overseas. And then I have this pouch. This pouch has my extra mask, solution, lens case. I've got toothbrush as well. And I have a tiger balm. My eye shades in here for me to sleep. This pouch is used for flights where I have rest on board. Some of the long flight hours range from 9 to 16 hours. So for medium to long haul and to ultra long flights. So this pouch is like my sleeping pouch. <laughs> I don't know how do I say it? Next one will be some earpiece. And I bought this actually. I'm not sure if you've seen this before. I saw this on TikTok. You can wear this to sleep but the only complaint I have for this is that every time I wake up, it comes off. It's not secured. But if I put it too secure, it's too tight. So it's either too loose or too tight. If there's no like in between. But I can show you. So basically, it helps to curl your hair. So it's a heatless curler. I'm not sponsored by this brand or anything. But I just want to show you how it goes. I'm not really good at using this yet. Still learning. Like that. Yeah, so just like that. Then you can wear this to sleep or you can wear this like every day when you're on the go. But I don't like because I can see like there's some empty space here so uh, doesn't look good. Currently my watch strap is a silver one. This is what I use for work. We're not allowed to use rubber straps for work. So I always bring this rubber watch straps with me. If I go to the gym, I will just change it out from this. Next. <laughs> I don't know why I brought this around but I wanted to make like Degano coffee. We have coffee powder on board and we have sugar so I can make it. Yeah, I've been bringing this around but I haven't been using it. So it's like a little frother. A portable frother from Aero Lappy. And then the other one is my file for work. Because I'm business class train, we usually take orders from passengers. So this is like an order pad that I have that I bring around with me to write name lists, to write passengers' names. These are just order pads for us to take order as well. That, that's it. Yeah, that's all I can say about this. Ah, okay. And I always bring this pouch with me as well. Sometimes I bring my laptop with me and this one time I forgot to bring my charger and I needed to charge my laptop. So I bought this universal travel adapter. <laughs> Got such a long name. They have different 
different outlets so they have for Australia, for US, Europe, Japan so I bought the whole set lah because I worry that I will forget to bring my charger again oh and also I bring extra contact lenses with me in this bag so this bag is done let's move on to my camping bag Ugh. I can't show you my shoes but I just show you the pouch <laughs> So on this side will be my covered shoes. For work, we have two types of shoes. We have the sandals and we have the covered shoes. Covered shoes are only worn for takeoff and landing. And for the sandals, we wear it throughout the flight. So I keep that in this little pouch here because it's convenient for me. I take it out, in and out. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here. An umbrella, this is a bus. Because sometimes going from the airport to the bus or from the hotel to the bus, there's no shade and then it's raining. So I feel like this is very useful. I bought like a door wedge. <laughs> this. Yeah, so if the door does not have a latch in the hotel, I will use this. I've also been told by a senior colleague of mine that it kind of defeats the purpose of safety. I mean, yes, I'm safe inside, but what if I pass out in the room? Or what if I cannot access the door and people from the outside have to come in? They can't come in because I put this wedge on the door. I don't know, so I'm, I'm very conflicted, but I really use this. My laptop. I bring this around, this lint remote. Coming! Room service just came. Let me continue. Before the sun goes down, oh my god, it's gonna be sunset soon. Where was I? Oh yeah, so I bring this lint remover around with me in case the bed looks very dusty or like dirty. I use this to clean it off. After the COVID period and I started to fly again, my skin got really sensitive. It's very sensitive to dust, even though it's clean, right? But because of the dust, it will get like really itchy. So I'll be, I used to use this a lot to clean the, the bed, but nowadays I don't really use this anymore. I went for announcement grading recently. This is my announcement book. I haven't been able to use it yet, but hopefully one day. <laughs> because maybe my grade is three, that's why they don't need me, but I'm considered an unranking crew. We don't really do announcement unless you're a one or a two, then you have a higher chance. There's three grades, so one, two, and three. Three is like, <laughs> I wouldn't say the worst, but it's like the lowest level. Uh, grade one is the best. Grade two is like average. So maybe because I'm grade three, I don't get the chance to do announcement, but yeah, this is my announcement book in case I need to do any announcement. During COVID, we have to wear goggles. I still keep them maybe in my bag just in case we do any China flights, because now China flights require us to wear goggles. So I have an extra new one in case I need it. And this is the one I used during COVID. Ah, so much memories. I haven't been using this for so long. Inside this bag, I will bring extra work shoes. So sandals. So this is my work sandals. Sometimes we do have to pack on the flight. So that means we wear civilian clothing when we are on board. I have my shoes. So this is my shoe. So I always stand by all of this in case we need to pack on the flight. Inside this pouch is also my packing clothing. It's a simple one. This is so crumpled, oh my god. This a collar top and have a jacket just in case I get cold on board. And pants. That's it. So that's all for my cabin bag. Let's move on to my work bag, which is my handbag. You can hear in my bag, I carry a ziplock of all my allergies, but some allergies in my liquids, aerosol, and gels. But I also have like rubbish inside. Home. This is the spray I'm currently using. I don't really like it, but I'm just gonna use it to finish it. And I have like some makeup. Uh, these are the makeup that I usually bring on board to top up. The only thing that comes off during the flight is my eyeliner and this glitter part of my eyeshadow. This is like a the glitter and this is the eyeliner as well as this little like um, shimmer. I like to apply this in my inner corner of my eye because it helps to brighten up my eyes and makes it look like fresh. And oh wait, <laughs> dental floss, extra nail polish just in case my nails chip and I need to apply over it. I have this hair gel and this one is a liquid plaster that I've been sharing in my Korea vlog. I always use this for my cuts because sometimes the cuts are in very odd places and there's no possible way to use a normal plaster to cover it. So this helps to cover and protect my cuts from dirt. <laughs> so this is really good. It's actually from Japan but you can find this in Watson. Lipstick, I always use this. It's in the shade 117. Whether you can see one more sample. It's the Maybelline Super Stay Matte. This is my favorite color. I always use this for work. I have my passports. I have two passports because this one is uh, expired, but I have my US visa in this expired passport. So I need to bring this around along with my new passport because the validity for my US visa and my Malaysia passport are like different. So that's why I have two passports. And then of course, this is my work ID. I'm not gonna show it, but it's in there. <laughs> I bring some extra pen just in case I need them. And this is my book for work, like a little booklet where I write my colleagues' names and some information about the flight. This is a pouch I always bring around in my bag 
In this pouch, there is mint. This is my favorite one from Japan. I'm not sure if Singapore has it, but this one is really good. Have a lip balm. This one is from Innisfree. It's almost finishing. That's it. That's all I have. <laughs> uh, because I wear false lashes, I have this eyelash glue just in case it comes off mid-flight. I also have my AirPods. Some tissue in case I need it. Eye drops in case my eyes get dry. My house keys. <laughs> little compact mirror. Rubber band. <laughs> and I have a little mini scissors that I got from Tokyo Hands. So it looks like this. Just in case I need to cut things. Next, I have my wallet. <laughs> so this is RFID protected as well. This wallet is a bit bigger than the one that I showed earlier on. This is my everyday wallet. I love it. It's so small and compact. I used to have like a bigger wallet like this and I keep like all my cards inside. I realized it's not as safe as putting it in gear. This is good. Very small. I like. I have a hand sanitizer and moisturizer. I also keep this disinfectant spray with me in case I need to disinfect anything in the room or my bag. Ever since COVID, I always carry this around with me in my working bag. And then I have this uh, mask guard. This one I wear underneath my mask because my lipstick always smudges. This helps to separate the mask from my mouth so that it won't like smudge my lipstick. I've always been told by my colleagues like, why don't I just go and buy the mask from Korea? You know those that are a bit more like okay like more rounded instead of the flat ones then I, I was wondering like since the company give us free mask right they give us the blue ones since it's free I just need to get like one of these mask cards like less than five dollars for, for one or less than three dollars actually for one I just put it under my mask problem solved and I save some money I don't need to waste money to buy like extra mask why would I buy extra mask when the company is giving free mask so yeah that's why I use this <laughs> save money and I also bring like stapler highlight for my name list when I write passenger's name and this is the pen I use to write the name list I can't show you the rest of the things because it's um, company stuff so it's all in my bag I'm to show you the little keychain that's on the bag hold on on the straps of my bag my handbag I placed this keychain this, this one was given to me by a friend from It's Beautiful and there's like a weight plate <laughs> And a little kettlebell. So cute! Okay, the sun is almost setting just in time. That's all for my video. If you'd like to see anything else from me, please do comment below and let me know what you would like to see next. If not, I'll just continue doing my vlogs and I'll just do whatever videos that I think would be interesting. But I would like to know your thoughts as well. So please do comment below. If you would like to stay tuned to my content, please do subscribe, like. If you're not into vlogs, you can always follow my socials. It's this. I have Instagram and TikTok, so feel free to follow them. I post more often there, I post actually every day in my stories. I notice a few new followers, so I would like to personally thank you for following me and for subscribing. It means a lot to me and my goal is to at least reach 300 <laughs> for, for now. My ultimate goal is to reach 1000 and above, but that will be next time. But for now, uh, let's try to bump it up to 300 subscribers. Please do share my video to your friends and family and continue to support me and I'll see you in my next video. Godlow on the track.